Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis, where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. With just 158 aircraft in its bomber fleet and no plane younger than 21 years of age, the US Air Force has struggled to keep enough aircraft available for missions in the event of a major. A top U.S. Air Force official told lawmakers on Tuesday that the first two B-21 Raider stealth bombers have been completed by Northrop Grumman and will soon be available for testing. The flying wing-shaped aircraft is styled much like the B-2 Spirit it is intended to replace. The B-21 Raider is a new high-tech stealth bomber being developed to replace the U.S. Air Force's aging bomber fleet. It is to complement existing Rockwell B-1 Lancer, Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit and Boeing B-52 Stratofortress bomber fleets in U.S. service and eventually replace these bombers. Designed to be long-range, highly survivable and capable of carrying a mix of conventional and nuclear ordnance, the B-21 will join the nuclear triad as a visible and flexible nuclear deterrent, supporting USA national security objectives and assuring America's allies and partners. The B-21 radar will provide the United States with a strategic asset capable of penetrating enemy air defenses and reaching targets anywhere in the world, something approximately 90% of the nation's current bomber fleet is incapable of doing. The U.S. Air Force has stated plans to acquire at least 100 aircraft. Some defense analysts believe that the Air Force should plan to purchase at least 200 B-21s. Currently only 10% of America's bomber force is capable of penetrating advanced adversary air defenses. Considering the continued heavy investment in sophisticated technologies and weapons platforms by American adversaries, that leave them free to act maliciously or extend their reach, a new bomber is critical to deterring potential adversaries, reassuring allies and keeping our nation safe. In a War College podcast, combat strategist and retired Air Force Lieutenant General David Deptula said, the B-21 will provide the kind of payload, range and penetrability that our current force of B-1S, B-52S and, to a small degree, B-2S, cannot accomplish. The B-21 represents a significant step forward over the 30-year-old B-2 spirit, as the B-21 is being designed by Northrop Grumman, who also built the B-2, to survive against the most advanced modern air defense systems such as Russia's S-400 surface-to-air missile system and China's J-20 stealth fighter, which entered service in 2017. The B-21 bomber will also be able to attack with nuclear bombs in addition to conventional weapons. It will also use Lockheed Martin's avionics, apertures and some sensors in the F-35. The B-21 bomber will be capable of flying with a payload of up to 13,607 kilograms. A large part of it will be internal fuel, whereas, the rest of the part would have bombs and missiles explain that this aircraft will be smaller in size and carry less weight than the B-2 Spirit of America. However, due to the small size, radars will not be able to detect it easily. From the initial look, the B-2 Spirit and B-21 bomber looks almost identical in appearance. The biggest difference between these two is their size and modernity. The B-21 will be the world's most technologically equipped aircraft, while the B-2 is now outdated. China has also copied America's B-2 spirit to make H-20 stealth bomber. The width of the B-2S wings is 172 feet, while the B-21S width will be less than 150 feet. The B-2 can fly up to 27,215 kilograms at a time while the B-21 can only carry 13,607 kilograms. However, the B-21 would be so lethal that it would be able to attack non-stop anywhere in the world with the help of aerial refueling. The development of the first prototype B-21 Raider Next Generation Stealth Bomber is complete. At a congressional hearing on the 8th of June 2021, Darlene Costello, the Air Force's Acting Assistant Secretary of the Air Force Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics, 
revealed that the first two B-21s have now been completed at Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, and are ready for testing. However, the first flight of the new bomber had been delayed to 2022. The B-21s are expected to achieve an initial operational capability by 2030 and to be fully combat ready by approximately 2035, with each estimated to cost $550 million. The cost of the bomber could further go high factoring in research and development costs that could make the jets considerably more expensive. The first unit of B-21 is expected to be based at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota. The B-21 will further be deployed at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri and at Dias Air Force Base in Texas. This was today's update. Please let us know your views about the same. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe the channel. Do not forget to share the video. We will be soon back with latest defense news.